Welcome to this lesson on systems of linear inequalities. A system of linear inequalities is two or more linear inequalities. And remember, an inequality just means it has one of these four signs. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. The solution to a system of linear inequalities is the region of points that satisfy both inequalities. So to solve, step one, you're going to graph one inequality in shade. Step two, graph the other inequality in shade. Step three, the region where the shading overlaps is the solution. So in this case, this would be the solution to that system. All right, so let's try some examples. If you have different colors, like colored pencils, or even a highlighter, it might help you on these problems. So I'm gonna use green for my first line. So 4x minus three, three, negative three is my y-intercept. My slope is four or four over one. So I'm gonna rise four, run one, four, one. And remember, if it's greater than, that's a dashed line. And it's greater than, so I'm going to shade above. And when you're shading, it might help if you just kind of make light lines like that, because you're going to have a lot of shading on the same graph, and you want to be able to see where they overlap. All right, I'm going to use pink for the second one. So y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. So 1 is my y-intercept. Negative 2, that means my graph is going to fall from left to right. So rise 2, run 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. This is going to be a solid line because it's greater than or equal to. And it's greater than, so I want to shade above. And the region where they overlap is here. It includes the pink line. It does not include the green line because it's stashed. So everything inside here. All right, let's try number two. So x is less than or equal to three. Remember, if it's x equals a number, remember hoy and bucks. So this is x equals a number. It's a vertical line going through three. And this is an inequality, so we're going to shade less than that. Less than or equal to, that's why it's a solid line. All right, and then the second one. So y is greater than or equal to 1 half x minus 3. So negative 3 is my y-intercept. Rise 1, run 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is also a solid line. And I'm going to shade greater than. So my solution would be all of this, including the lines, because they're both solid. So all of those points are my solutions. All right, next, both of these on number three are in standard form. You want to change them to slope-intercept form for inequalities to make sure that you shade the right way. So the first one, let's see, 2x plus y equals 2, or is greater than or equal to 2. I want to move that 2x to the other side, so I subtract 2x. So let's see, I have a positive 2. Rise 2, run 1, 2, 1. There's my slope up two over one, down two over one. And it's a solid line. And I'm gonna shade greater than. All right, and then number two, let's see, three Y. I'm gonna move that six to the, six X to the other side. It becomes negative six X. Then divide by three. 
I didn't divide by negative, so I don't have to flip the sign. Let's see, that's negative 2x plus 4. So positive 4, and then down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. This is a dashed line because it's just less than, not less than, or equal to. And I'm going to be shading less than, so below. So my solution here is this little sliver, not including the pink line, but it does include the green line in here. All right, and then number four, is negative two for a solution to the graphed system of linear inequalities? Okay, so negative two four is here. And as you can see, it lies outside the shaded region. So no, it is not a solution. It has to be somewhere in here to be a solution. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.